Hey guys, how are you? Uh, really, really appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Uh, this is our very, very first exercise session here at Atkins Health headquarters or, or head office. Uh, my name is Tobias Atkins. My name is Matt from Atkins Health. And we're here today to take you through a awesome, quick, fast session. What we're gonna be doing uh, is a circuit-based workout, but we're gonna be basically going through eight different exercises one minute on each exercise. Uh, all of our exercises tonight are body weight movements. So just making sure that you have that free space around you, uh, that we're gonna be doing some of the exercises on the ground, some of the exercises standing up. Uh, so when we're going through all these exercises, it is one minute. So it is gonna be quite intense. When we go through the exercise, if you need to have a little bit of a breather, have a breather. If you need to have, break it down into repetitions, you might only do five reps and have a little rest or 10 reps, have a little rest, take that into account. And last thing as well with the exercise, if you have any niggles, any previous injuries, and you are feeling a little bit of pain in that, stop, have a breather, and move on to the next one as well. So tonight we're going to go through, in those eight exercises, two lower body, two upper body, two core, and two full body exercises tonight. The program is kind of developed and designed around weight loss with some endurance strength kind of components to it as well. The idea of it being no exercise equipment at all and all body weight is that you can do this anywhere at any time. So even if you're in travel, stuck in an apartment, isolation at home, these exercises will be perfect for you to get that high intensity up uh, and, and get the results you're looking for. Between each of the exercises, we're going to have one minute on that station. We're going to aim for about a 20 to 30 second rest in between. On our right here, we do have the timer at the same time. If you can't see that, just make sure you have your stopwatch or your phone next to you so you can take that into account. But we'll give you a bit of a countdown near the end of each exercise. 20 to 30 second rest in between each exercise. Perfect. So without further ado, let's get cranking, huh? Ooh, All right. Up. Let's go down that. So we're going to start the minute right now. The first exercise we're going to do is actually our bridges. So the bridges are a really fantastic exercise that work on probably or arguably the most important muscle group in our body for moving, working our glutes, all right? So as you can see here, uh, Matt is tightening his core, squeezing his glutes and pushing his hips up towards the ceiling, all right? So a regression from this is obviously just not taking the hips quite so high. So what we're gonna do is get Matt to just showcase that iron, perfect. So he's still squeezing his tummy, still squeezing his glutes, still raising his hips, but just not quite as far. The next one we're gonna do is a progression. So make it a little bit more challenging. So Matt's gonna take one foot off the ground, as you can see here, bring the knee towards the hip, and now he's gonna thrust up towards the ceiling. Obviously all the weight is now going onto his left leg and making his left glute work just that little bit harder. For those heroes at home, that this is still easy. We're going to take it to the next level. So this exercise here is just taking that leg nice and straight and pushing through the same movement. That's one minute, guys. Have your break. So whilst you have your 20-second rest, the next exercise is going to be the infamous push-up. Okay, so we're going to take you through some progressions and regressions from that, explain to you the muscles that we're targeting and why it's beneficial to you. All right, so starting on your tummy, we're going to start with the standard push-up. So Matt's going to jump here on his hands and knees. As you can see here, his elbows are coming around that 45-degree angle. So the reason for this is to take some load off the shoulders and give that even distribution between his triceps and his shoulders whilst also working the pecs. So they're the obvious muscle groups that we're working on here. To regress this exercise, for those people who aren't heroes like Matt, we're going to drop the knees towards this, the floor and obviously pivot off those knees. Now, a really bad thing that I see with a lot of people when doing knee push-ups is keeping the glutes or hips where I'm at. If you can just show me that. So he's going to keep his hips there and just take his chest down. It's just horrible for the shoulders. So we really want to avoid that and make sure we're pivoting, keeping the glutes in nice and tight and pivoting off those knees. The reason why this is a great exercise for you is that we as humans do a lot of pushing movement and find that pushing and be opening a door, pushing a trolley or any of those kind of pushing style exercises is incredibly important to your everyday life. That's your minute. Have a break. Ooh. How you feeling, buddy? Oh yeah, I'm warm. I'm warm. <laughs> okay, everyone, have a little breather, have a little drink. 
You're gonna be staying on the ground in that push-up position for this next exercise. I'll get Toby to come down for me, please. Okay, so what we're going through now is our shoulder taps. So three, two, one. Let's start that timer again. Now in this shoulder tap position, you are in that push-up position here. We're working on that shoulder stability and working on our core as well. You notice what we're happening is, is that I have Toby here going opposite hand to opposite shoulder. While he's performing this movement, he's keeping his hips nice and stable, no collapsing on the left or right side. Now, as a progression or regression with this exercise, you can take your feet wider apart to make it easier, so you're more stable in that position. Or if you do want to make it a little bit more of a challenge, essentially taking those feet closer together. You want to keep those hips down, keep the body nice and straight, keeping that core on. And then with this, if it's too hard, try and move that hands a little bit faster up onto the shoulder. You want to make it a little bit more challenging again, apart from the legs with the arms, going for a little bit slower left to right as well. And we've got five more seconds there, so taking your time. Here we go. Three, two, one, and a breather again. Grab a drink, have a little rest. Our next exercise, what we're going to be doing is standing up in our squat stance, please. What we're going to be doing with this particular movement, Toby's going to have his feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. And we're doing our touch jumps. Everyone ready there? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Toby, take it away. Now, with our touch jumps, what you'll see here is that Toby's using opposite hand each time to be touching that ground. And then he's driving out of the squat into a jump. At the top of that movement, what we're utilizing here is our quads and our glutes in that hip hinge. So he's focusing on keeping those hips coming back in that movement, keeping his chest there here, pivoting over that position and then driving up nice and tall. Now with this, it's good impact on our bones, especially for our athletes working on that power-based movement. If you are coming back from injury or any ankle, knee or hip injuries, instead of that impact with that jump, what Toby's just gonna be doing here is this touch standing tall. Now, at the same time, even this is as a regression in the exercise, the one thing I want you to take into account is that we're still focusing on that hip drive, punching up our bum at the top of our movement and quads and glutes at the top there with a nice big drive. Same thing again, team. Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and little breather. I'll let Toby take it away from here. How do you feel? I'm bugging. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just remind everyone if they've come in late that they can go back to the beginning at the end. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. Yes, exactly right. So if you have come in a little bit late, go back to the start of this video if you'd like and go through this. What Toby mentioned at the start at the same time is that we are going through these as one-minute rotations for our eight different exercises. It can be formed in a circuit-style fashion, break up into two, four different exercises and breaking it into reps as well. Now, what we're going to be moving on to now is our lunges. So working on our lower body exercise. We're all ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, get started again. Now I'm going to give you a 30 second breakdown to swap legs on this exercise as well. Now with this lunge, we're doing a static lunge. We're staying in that split stance position. And you'll notice with Toby as well, is we have that gap between our feet. Keeps our body nice and stable here. The muscles that we're working on, quads, our hemis, and our glutes. And all I want you to think about is keep that back heel off the ground and we're just dropping that back knee down. I'll get Toby just to go side on for the camera as well for me, please. Two, one, and swapping legs. Swapping legs for me if you haven't already and keep it going there, please. Really good unilateral exercise. I find having that weakness on one side of your body, great exercise to performing. If you're only doing bilateral like your squats, not going to be enough. If you're having that weakness on one side, especially in that hammy or your glute, you want to try and add this in. You can either do some single leg sit to stands, some pistol squats, but a lunge is a great exercise there. Three, two, and one. Resting there. Have a breather for me. How you feeling, mate? Yeah. Going well? I'm hanging in there. Good. Hanging in there. Good. <laughs> Moving in, we're going to go for our upper body exercise. So Toby's going to do this side on for me to start with. Now we're doing inchworms. Our feet are going to be starting slightly wider than shoulder width apart again. If you're all ready to go, three, two, one, let's get started here. So what Toby's doing, he's walking his hands all the way out into a push-up position, 
and then coming up nice and tall. Now, apart from this exercise working on our shoulder stability and our upper body here with this movement, the other aspect to take into account is actually working on the mobility, the mobility in our hamstrings, the mobility in our hips as well. Now, if you're tight like a baby giraffe, like Toby and myself, what we'll do with this particular movement, what we're going to do with this particular movement is take your feet a little bit wider apart and then coming up nice and tall, okay? Take that slight bend in your knee as you're coming down in that movement. If you are a gymnast and you have no problems with any stiffness in your hammies, in your lower back or your glutes, take your feet closer together. But my one big suggestion with this particular exercise, unlock the knees at the start of it, take the load off the back, work on that core, work on that shoulder stability. Same thing, everyone. Three, two, and one. Have a breather again, have a breather. Right, no, to catch my breath, gonna talk again. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get back into the exercises. Toby's going through our last two for us, okay? Make sure you grab a drink if you need a drink, chill out a little bit, we'll give you a bit more of a bigger break. We're actually down to our last two exercises of the eight. What we're gonna do at the end of the eight, we're gonna give you a little bit of chat if you missed the beginning, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through each of the exercises just one more time, swapping people. Um, so we'll swap exercises. I'll do the ones that Matt did. Matt will do the ones that I did. But we'll kind of just kind of push through the exercises without me and, and Matt chapping away and uh, hurting your ears. So you need to start in three, two, one. Lying on your back like Matt is. We're going to go into what we call bicycle kicks. So the biggest thing we're focusing on here is our abdominal muscles. Now, this exercise is really interesting. I see 100,000 different ways that people do this. My biggest hatred is anyone with putting their hands underneath their bottom like Matt is now, or kind of allowing that hip or pelvis to move a, a hell of a lot. So the whole exercise is designed to work the lower abdominal muscles to keep that pelvis bent and tucked up to keep that flat back. The leg movements are actually just there to make that difficult for you to do, okay? Make this easier. When you take your legs out, come up higher towards the ceiling to make it harder. You guessed it, it's just down towards the ground, okay? Basically, what that means is it puts more pressure on that pelvic tilt movement and makes it harder for your abdominals to hold your pelvis in that neutral position. Doing really well, guys. Very proud of you. Three seconds left. Two, one, and relax. Have a nice chill out because this next exercise is hard core, okay? So before we get cranking in this next exercise, what I'm going to say is if you have any kind of hip, ankle problems, this exercise is probably not going to be ideal for you. So what I want you to do is just do a normal bodyweight squat. So this is not in the one minute. And Matt's just going to showcase to you a nice, good bodyweight squat. So he's going to bring his feet hip width apart. He's going to keep his tummy strong. He's going to keep his knees going out. That keeps your pelvis in a nice, strong position. Taking his glutes to the, to the floor and keeping his back nice and straight. So if, if you have any problems with your back or back, hips or knees, or even ankles, this is the exercise I want you to do for this next minute. If not, join us for the cross axe What? All right, so Matt's gonna jump in here in front of you. He's gonna take his feet really, really wide apart, okay? And what he's then gonna do is he's gonna take his body weight over to one side. So what he's doing is really putting a lot of stress and strain on his ankle joint, making sure he gets nice mobility action going through there, nice hip mobility and also knee mobility, okay? As you can see, when he dives off to one side, the toes or, or the foot on the opposite side come off the ground, and he's pivoting off his uh, his heel there, right? This is exercise obviously working the glutes, the quads, the core, his uh, cast, basically his stability across all his lower body, um, and is obviously an incredibly difficult exercise to, to do. Doing awesome then, Matt. This is obviously for the more advanced and a great exercise. Any kind of hip hinging movement that we've seen in this exercise, we actually saw it in the inchworms and the touch joints. It's working on this movement where we're extending out the hips, which is really wonderful for those who are stuck in chairs all day um, because we're in a hip flex position for a lot of our time. Guys, right. that's all eight exercises. Well done, everyone. Just kind of do a bit of a recap, though, of the exercises that we've just gone through in our session tonight. Starting off with the bridges. Bridges, we're lying on the ground. We have our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're focusing on our glutes. Okay, so just as a bit of a quick recap, basically from here, Toby's are squeezing his bum, 
raising hip up off the ground. The progressions, knee to the chest, or the third progression, keeping that leg nice and straight and coming up. One point just to add to this exercise, you really wanna focus on using that in the glutes. So if you have your feet further out in that bridge position, you're gonna be using your hemis, make sure you bring those feet back. Our second exercise is our push-ups, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Either on our toes, keeping those elbows at that 45 degree angle nice and close, or on our knees, taking that position off the shoulder, taking that load off if we want to do a bit of a regression on that push-up position. Whilst we're still down in that push-up position though, we're now working from that to our third exercise, being our shoulder taps. With our shoulder taps, we're going opposite arm, opposite shoulder, change the intensity of it, take the feet wider apart if you want to make it a little bit easier, bring the feet closer in to make it a little bit more challenging, working on that upper body and our hip stability as well. From there, we're going into our touch jumps, standard squats, hip, uh, feet just wider than hip width apart, opposite hand down, and then driving out of that position. If it's easy with the drive and you're uncomfortable with any uh, ankle, knee, or hip injuries, no jump, just focusing on that. From there, we have our lunges, taking one foot back, make sure the heel is off the ground, keeping it, if you're going from that front on view, have that gap between the feet. And then we're going for that minute, we're going 30 seconds each side. From there, we're doing our inchworms. The inchworms have those feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, coming all the way down into a push-up, coming all the way back up, apart from that shoulder stability, also working on that mobility and the hips at the same time. Make it easier, take the feet apart, make it more challenging, bring the feet closer together. Coming back down into our core now, again, working on that circuit style fashion. And also because I really want to push Toby here tonight, <laughs> doing our bicycle kicks, hands not underneath our bum, hands to the side. And from there, we're just bringing one leg out. One important point to note is I'm point, pointing with that heel to really drive that glute and hammy as much as I'm doing my core here, keeping my lower back nice and flat to the ground. From there in our bicycle kicks, most challenging one of our exercises is our cross axe squat. Taking those feet wide apart like a sumo wrestler, have those feet pointing out wide. And apart from you just going side on in that movement, you'll notice here with Toby is he's still sending his hips back. He's sending his hips back onto that one side and shifting that weight, working that ankle mobility as well. Awesome, guys. So just to kind of recap for those who missed the right at the beginning, just wanted to really uh, to drive home the message that all the exercises tonight were actually done without any equipment, can be done anywhere at any time. We're focusing on endurance and strength, whilst looking at weight loss. Next month, <laughs> next month's session, if, uh, if it's not any earlier, we'll be working on a similar kind of concept, similar style to the evening, going through eight exercises, giving you the, uh, the, ex the, the muscles that we're targeting, reasons why we're doing it, but we're also gonna start to add some equipment into the mix. So next time we are in front of you, we'll be using banded exercises. So be therabands, power bands. So be nice and prepared and ready. Keep your eyes out on Facebook and all our marketing and uh, join us again next time for another exercise session here at Atkins Health Head Office with Atkins Health. If you want to stick around, we're going to go through all these exercises just one more time with no explanation. I want to see Matt do that, my exercises and I want to do his. If not, thanks very much again for joining us. Um, you've been awesome. You made us feel a whole bunch less lonely. Um, and enjoy uh, your safe week. And we'll catch up with you next time. Bye. If you have Cheers. any questions, post them in the comments as well below. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. All right. So, Bridges. Is that me? Bridges is you now. You're going to do them. All right. Do it. All right. One minute on. Uh, double leg, go five reps. All right, maybe your chest, three on one leg. Opposite leg, maybe your chest. Two, three, straight leg now. Two reps. Opposite leg. All right, turning over into our push-up position. Form. Okay, so feet slightly wider than the shoulder width. Good, all right, let's go. Good. Okay, let's go for tempo now. Three seconds on the way down. Drive up. Three, two, one, drive. Two, one, drive. Last one. One, drive. And there. Okay, shoulder taps. Okay.
Here we go. Can you get? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this exercise. <laughs> All right, good job. Nice and slow. One, four seconds up with your hands, four seconds down. For me, please. Really fight that rotation through your hips for me, buddy. Nice and slow. Good job. It's a bit easy for you. Let's get the feet closer. Nice work. All right, I want one more each on. Nice work, buddy. All right, I want to see Ooh, some touch jumps. All right, let's get the hips apart. Get the hips apart. I want to see your head hit the ceiling. Let's go. Touch down, jump up. Touch down, jump up. Nice work. Good team. Good team. Nice and strong. I'm going to go for five more. One, two, three, four. Five, brilliant. Straight into lunges for me, mate. No break. Nice wide stance. Good job. Heel up. Perfect. Squeezing the boots on the way up. All right, we're going to slow down and really power up. Good. Top sides. So three down. One, two, three. Drive. One, two, three. Drive. Okay, I'm going to swap sides. Instead of just coming up, I want you to jump at the top. Three, two, one. Power up. Good. Three, two, one. Power up. Nice. Two more. One more. Good job. Each one is for me. Let's go. Good. I'm going to go two more like that. And then we're going to go three at the end, but I want to push up at the end for me. Yeah? Yeah. So one more. Good job. Now push up at the end for me. Nice and strong. Keep that core on. Nice. Two more. Lovely. One last one for me. Good job. Nice work, big fella. Woo! All right, last two on the ground. Last some kicks. Going high for me in the kick. High in the kick. Oh, good. Two more. Last one. Okay, midway through. Midway down. Get those hands off the ground. Two. Two more. Nice work. Keep that core on. Keep that core on. Keep that core. Okay, now nice and low to the ground. Four more. Like you're trying to just, just touch the ground off a good up. Slow on the way down. Drive it back. Good. Drive it back. Two more. Nice, Toby. Nice. One more, mate. Good. Okay, last one for me. Right, squat. <laughs> so glad I'm not finishing. <laughs> Wide stance, eight reps for each side. Talk about young giraffe. All right, right let's go. Down on that. Good. <laughs> Standing up tall. Go a little bit wider. Good. Keep that chest up. Keep looking up. Two. Good drive. Hips to the top. Three. Eight reps. Good. Four more. Three more. All right, come on, keep that heel down. Good, 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 good. Keep that heel down. Last one. Nice, mate. All right, good job. We'll give you a high five for that. Uh... <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Night. Cheers. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> I'm trying to end it. Oh, okay. Is that people trying to get in there?